Namaste. Welcome to this series of Mogara Fulala. Sangeeta is my name and I have the pleasure of inviting you to this introduction of this new initiative of knowledge sharing of Garje Marathi Global Mogara Fulala. As we all know that Garje Marathi is a learning organization and in such organization there is always striving for capturing, creating and transferring knowledge. Mogara Fulala is a small attempt and in this series we will string the inspirational stories that offer a comp comprehensive repository of the undaunting spirit of those who strive for excellence and which demonstrates that excellence is not a destination but a never-ending journey of realizing one's potential. We already see that in Garje Marathi there is a shared vision and purpose. There is collaboration and involvement of its members. There is experimentation and knowledge creation. And through initiatives like Mogara Fulala, we will be able to access and share knowledge. So what is the vision of this series? Mogara Fulala will attempt to encapsulate one of the salient moments in the journey of the practitioner who is seeking excellence and making it available for all of us for learning and inspirational purpose. When we talk about knowledge, knowledge can be of two types. One is the tacit knowledge and the other is explicit knowledge. Now tacit knowledge is something that rests in our head. It is in the mind of the practitioner or embedded in the experience of the doer. It is hard to transfer or communicate this knowledge in the tacit form. So organizations strive to transfer this tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge. Knowledge that is in codified form, in a documented form, which is shareable and accessible. And that is what Mogara Fulala series is going to attempt to do. Excellence, when we think about excellence, there are so many facets of excellence. Excellence could be driven by burning passion of someone. Excellence could be a story of very high level of competence. It could be about strategic vision. It could be about exemplary ideas that lead to innovation. And we tend to draw inspiration and motivation from these stories of excellence. When we think about documenting these stories, we looked at certain criteria that should be there to capture a particular experience. Those criteria are, of course, it should be relevant to us. It should be really focused to be meaningful. It should be shareable. It should be easy to capture. It should be possible to validate it. And most importantly, ensure that we capture it because tacit knowledge tends to get lost. It is at the risk of getting lost. And that is why we are converting it into an explicitly form so that we can retain it and share it with others. When we talk about knowledge transfer, there are some well-tested methods of knowledge transferring. 
One is mentoring. And as you all know, that there are some excellent mentors in the Garje Marathi community. And we have seen uh, with the entrepreneurs, wonderful process of mentoring unfold. Then there are communities of practice. These communities of practice discuss a very specific subject matter, look at various benchmarks and discuss new ideas so that there is sharing of knowledge as well as creation of knowledge, transfer of knowledge. And one of the third ways of knowledge transfer we can do is through storytelling. Now, storytelling is nothing new. It is embedded in our culture. It is part of our heritage of oral knowledge transfer. And also it is very interesting and entertaining when we are learning something new. So we are going to look at Mogara Fulala through storytelling process so that we can capture the rich contextual detail, capture the relevant information and make it available for all of us. Who doesn't want to listen to a good story. How are we going to do this? So I'll share the format with you. So the format of Mogara Fulala series, each story would be approximately about five to six minutes maximum. In that, the practitioner will first identify what story, what anecdote, what milestone which particular aspect of their journey they would like to share with the audience. Of course, as you know, if you have lived long enough or if you have lots of achievement to your credit, it is quite hard to identify one such thing, but you just have to pick up one flower and talk about it. It is obviously very important to let the audience know as to why this is so salient to you in your journey. Was this that moment that made all the difference to your story? Was this this something spectacular happened that it made all the difference? Was there someone that you met um, in the journey that that person who made all the difference by their contribution? Or was it that flash of creativity that completely turned out to be the turning point in the story? So why is it so important? And obviously then, what are the nuts and bolts? What was the action taken? How did it all happen? How did it all unfold? And finally, what was the outcome? What was the final impact? So this is what we are looking at as a short story from the practitioners and those who are, have already traveled this path of excellence so that those who are in the continuous improvement journey can learn and share this information. Like a little sapling, that grows into a huge flowering tree or the journey of a bud into a full blossom. There is a process. The journey of excellence is also dotted with many human stories. The objective of Mogara Fulala initiative is to capture one such moment for our learning. Each one of you have a role in this process. You will be the content creator as well as the consumer of the story. We invite you to share your story and also be an audience to the story that others tell us in this series. So what are we waiting for? What is your story? Let us hear from you in this Garje Marathi's initiative of transferring tacit knowledge 
into explicit through Mogara Fulala. Namaskar.